hello friends welcome back to our youtube channel b4 btech so in this video we are going to see about diffie hellman key exchange algorithm so it is used to exchange keys between sender and receiver it is an asymmetric key cryptography it is not any type of technique that is used for encryption and decryption it is simply a key exchange algorithm so there are certain procedures and a step to solve this algorithm to uh, to see this algorithm we are uh, moving further so just this is the procedure step by step it is written first one consider any prime number any prime number you can take so we have taken q as a variable so let q is equal to 7 this one i have taken q is equal to 7 you can take any prime number if you wish, wish to take uh, second one is uh, select alpha such that alpha is lesser than q means when we have taken 7 as our q value so alpha it will be lesser than q means it will be lesser than 7 it will be, it will be 1 2 it may be 1 2 3 4 5 6 but it should not exceed from 7 or it should, should not equal to 7 the alpha should not equal to 7 or it should, it should not uh, more than q and alpha it should be a root primitive root of q what is a primitive root so i'll explain this what is primitive root primitive root the formula primitive root is alpha to the power 1 mod q alpha to the power 2 mod q likewise alpha to the power 3 mod q up to alpha q minus 1 mod q q minus 1 means the q we have taken as 7 so alpha up to 6 it will be possible so here example we have taken as alpha our uh, our alpha will be 3 and q is equal to 7 so when we have taken alpha is 3 means 3 to the power 1 mod 7 3 to the power 2 mod 7 3 to the power 3 mod 7 3 to the power 4 mod 7 so when we are dividing 7 with 3 the value will be 0 and the remainder will be 3 likewise you need to solve for everything and the value we got as 3 2 6 4 5 1 likewise we got the value but the one thing that you need to keep in mind means every possible value will be there means before 7 below than 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 whatever the q we have select whatever the prime number we have select before that every digit should be present here means 1 2 3 4 5 6 then only it will be a primitive root of that value that q value so here when we have select that this example as 3 then it is satisfying the condition means all the possible values is there you can check with check with 2 you can check with 4 you can check with 5 anything will be possible 5 also if you will check means it will satisfy satisfy all the conditions but here we have taken as 3 you can check with it with 2 you can check it with 4 if the condition is satisfying then you can take that value also there is nothing problem in that okay but the thing is that up to q minus 1 you need to solve it and you need to just check every value just check once every value is present or not if any value is missing means you can't go with that value means your alpha should not be that value if any value will be missing every value should, every value should be present there then only it will be a primitive root of uh, q okay so here our alpha is equals to three because it satisfies all the condition as a primitive root okay now the next step is that you need to assume xa xa is nothing but a private key of a x means private x is always private so x x a is private key of a and x is x a is lesser than q again the q value we have taken as 7 so it will be always lesser than 7 it may be 6 it may be 5 anything you can take but it will be lesser than 7 okay now we need to calculate y a so the formula of y is the formula of y a is alpha to the power x a mod q okay how to calculate this? The formula is y is equals to alpha to the power x a mod q on this basis only you can calculate y a y a is the public key of a x means private y means public always keep in mind x means private y means public sometimes in your question x a will be provided and sometimes in your question y a will be provided 
so at that time you don't need to solve this anything means uh, you can't assume at that time it will already given in the question if in the question it will be given like your private key is 5 or your private key is 4 then you can't assume it you need to take it and then you need to calculate y a okay it might be available in the question public key or private key so on that basis only here nothing is available that's why we are solving through this and we are assuming our private key and we are solving for the public key but if it is available in the question then you know don't need to assume anything for the private key okay that thing you need to keep in mind now uh, we have the value of q that is 7 we have the value of alpha that is 3 and let x is equals to 5 x could be anything it's up to you like whatever you want to choose it's up to you so i have taken as 5 okay so our ya is equals to just give the all the values in this equation okay ya is equals to what is our alpha alpha is 3 what is our xa xa we have taken as 5 this is up to you whatever you wish you could take this value then mod q mod q what is q q is 7 that we have taken at, at the very first step so after solving this equation 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 5 times we got the value as 243 243 mod 7 if we'll do this the remainder will be 5 okay like i can show here so when you are dividing 7 to 243 it is uh, 7 3 is a 21 3 3 7 4 is a 28 the remainder will be 5 remainder will be 5 so this is our public key of a this 5 will be our public key of a only the thing you need to keep in keep in mind is this formula y is equals means public private key just you need to assume whatever you can and the formula is y a is equals to alpha to the power x a mod q q value is already given x a value is already given just you need to find this y that is public key of a so after solving this equation we have got our y a means public key of a as 5 now we are moving to the fourth step third step is completing then fourth step that is x b just this x b is the private pvt this is private key of b okay and y b is the public key of b two keys are there a and b so x a is the uh, private key of a x b was the uh, that y a was the public key of a x b is the private key of b and y b is the public key of b so assume x b and x b it's all is also should be lesser than q x a was also should be lesser than q and now x b also should be lesser than q then calculate y b same formula is there alpha to the power x b mod q in case in the place of a it is b here so it's up to you whatever you can take it's up to your wish but it should be lesser than the value of q means lesser than the value of 7 because we have taken the as in the first step only we have taken the value of q as 7 so xb our xp is 4 on this basis just put on the formula and get the result so yb is equals to what is the value of our alpha alpha value is 3 what we have assumed as xb it is 4 so 3 to the power 4 then mod 7 the value of q is 7 so 3 to the power 4 is 81 mod 7 when we are solving this the remainder will be 4 the remainder will be 4 like uh, we, we can solve here so it will be it will be 4 so our public key of p is 4 again this is the final step where we are just checking the all the process all the algorithm is working successfully or not this is the final step okay calculate secret keys k1 and k2 for exchanging so the formula is k1 is equals to yb to the power xa mod q and for k2 the formula is ya xb mod q so just put the values in this 
after calculating if k1 is equals to k2 then it will be successful otherwise it is not successful so just first we'll calculate it then we'll talk later so k1 what is the value of yb the value of yb is 4 the value of yb is 4 so just we have written 4 here what we have assumed at the time of x here we have assumed our x is 5 so 4 to the power 5 mod 7 q is already you know at the starting phase only we have taken as 7 so mod 7 4 to the power 5 is 1024 mod 7 then the value is 2 the remainder we have got is 2 so k1 is equals to 2 again for the k2 same thing but for the public key of a okay so our our uh, ya value is 5 we have got our ya value as 5 here okay so that only we need to write here 5 to the power xp xb what we have assumed xb we have assumed as 4 so just put it 4 mod 7 so 5 to the power 4 is 625 mod 7 that is 2 so k2 value is 2 okay so just check whether these values are matching or not if k1 or k2 is not matching means there is some error in your algorithm or your algorithm is not successful it is mandatory that k1 should be equal to k2 for the successful algorithm so if k1 is equals to uh, k2 then your key exchange successfully done if it is not means something error is there or might be it is not successfully done okay that is the process so we'll repeat it in a fast way firstly just you need to take any prime number by your ways any prime number by your ways first step you need to take any prime number second it should be you need to find the alpha value secondly you need to find the alpha value and it should be lesser than q so if we'll take the q value as add in the lesser step means the alpha value should be lesser than the q value means we have taken here 7 so alpha value should be um, it might be 1 or 2 3 4 5 6 but it should be a primitive root primitive root means it should satisfy this condition alpha mod q means uh, whenever we are doing this calculation then all the values 1 2 3 4 5 6 lesser than that all the values should be present there so you you can check by 2 firstly uh, by 1 it will be wasteful because when we are 1 to mod 1 mod 7 it will be 7 or means 1 of mod of 7 will be anything we can do with like 1 it will not be possible because 1 1 power 1 will be 1 1 power 2 will be 1 1 power 3 will be 1 1 power 4 will be one. so it is waste so just go with 2 if 2 the for the second value if the condition match then go with 2 otherwise go with 3 but it should let lesser than q so that is clear means your uh, alpha is final alpha we have taken as 3 okay now for the third one that is very very important just you need to assume xa xb means two step you need to do xa and xp for the xa just assume any xa we have assumed that xa as 5 then you need to perform in this formula ya is equals to alpha to the power xa mod q just whatever the values we have got just put the value and get the result we have get the result as 5 this formula you need to keep in mind okay same thing here assume xb first we have assume xa then you are now we need to assume xb xb we have assumed then calculate the value of yb on the same way put the value in this formula and get the result of yb yb we have gotten got the result as 4 then calculate this secret keys for k1 and k2 the formula is k1 is equals to yb xa mod q the formula is uh, very very simple just it is means uh, just it is rotable here we have in that uh, xb when we are calculating yb the formula is yb is equals to alpha to the power xb mod q but when we are calculating the value of k it is yb to the power xa mod q likewise just calculate the value of k1 and k2 and just check whether k1 is equals to k2 or not if k1 is equals to k2 means your algorithm is successful and your algorithm is correct okay so this is only this diffie hellman key exchange algorithm so if you understand all the concept just go with this one or two time you will completely understand this topic
it is very very simple and it will be asked in eight marks or section mark question because it is not a two marker or four marker question it will be it might be asked in eight mark or it might be asked in uh, 16 marks so if you like this video please subscribe our channel please subscribe our channel and like this video and comment down if you have any doubt or if you have any query about this video thank you so much for watching this video